course, you're still watching Ellen 24-7. Welcome to Developing Stories. I am Emmanuel Abia. And on developing stories today, we'll be talking about a few issues that, of course, they are re reoccurring issues. And but we'll be uh, delving into it more as they have been happening in uh, different dimensions. And now you already know that kidnappings have been uh, a reoccurring issue in the country. Uh, this period, in fact, it has been on for some time. And right now, a young lady identified as Najiba, who was kidnapped alongside her five sisters and her father in Abuja on January 9th, has reportedly been killed. Uh, sir, in your shoes, I should be able to call one or two persons in at NIMC, NCC, the telcos uh, and the ministry or ministry to track the personal data and location of the f phone numbers being used to conduct this ransom negotiation. You are making Nigerians lose trust in all the works you did with NIN. Now his response was, thank you for the question. NIN and SIM policy has been working. However, the relevant institutions fighting criminality are to be requested to ensure they utilize it effectively when a crime is committed. Lack of utilizing it <clears throat> is the main problem, not the policy. While in office, I know three instances where the policy was utilized and it led to the success of their operations. Now, on the lack of utilization, I am more worried than anyone as my life was threatened by criminals for reintroducing it including on BBC, AUSA, and National Dailies. I resisted and ensured its implementation if it is not being utilized by the relevant institutions in charge of securing lives and property. Then I am more frustrated than any person as I sacrificed my life and ignored all the threats to life. This is just a point out of 100 uh, on the policy. Now, may, of course, the Almighty rescue all the kidnapped and bring absolute peace and stability to Nigeria. And may he continue to guide our leaders and help them always uh, in discharging their responsibilities. That was the response that came from Mr. Pantami, the former minister uh, there, to a social media, a question raised by a social media user. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Developing Stories. Share your thoughts with us. Yeah, I'm calling from Anambra. My name is Nicholas. All right. Go ahead, please. Yeah, I'm seeing what is happening in uh, Abuja. Mm. It is very, very terrible. Very terrible situation. Very sad. Very sad one. Because these people that are, they are paying money to, if they are lying, not be ready to True. Because if you pay this money today, tomorrow you will still repeat it. And I believe there are people who are transferring with these people. You go to the bank, the same, the same problem we are also having. They will, the people will open an account, no detail, nothing, nothing. Mm. Somebody will stamp somebody and collect his money, and what you hear, the bank will tell you, you don't have an address. What kind of country are we? Are we? Exactly. No process is being followed. Everything is just zigzag in this country. These bandits, they make call to the family. They have a, they, 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 they use phone. And this phone are connected to network. Why can't this, this line be traced? Why can't this one be arrested? It's too sad, it's too pathetic. Too pathetic. And no, if this is happening in, in advanced countries, they will take these scholars and get them arrested quickly. Because the, weapon, the, 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 the materials are there, the equipment are there. So I don't know it be, why it should be difficult. I can just say family of this nature should be paid this person is 10 million. Where would they get the money? Mm. How would they raise the money? Exactly. You collect from this family, they're not, they're not, before you know, they will sit, they not take, they will kidnap another family again. They will sit down and pay, pay, pay money. Where are we heading to? Even when you made this money, are they paying this money to cash? Are they doing it to mm. Which account is it going to? Exactly. Because I think we should check. 
Is it when it happened to a poor man? Uh, 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 things will be going the other way around. Because this family now that we think that people the other people who are also in Vietnam, mm. nobody is talking about that. Yes. Everybody can talk about it. What they are saying how to raise two million naira. Who is telling that two million naira? But I read the news when uh 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 somebody is going to two million for who? Who are you paying to? Mm. So there's a problem, a serious problem. We need to we need to buckle up. Thank you. Thank you very much for your contribution there. All right, I'm calling you from Lafayette, Nasarawa State. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, uh, what, uh, what, uh, what, what happened in Abuja is so sympathetic. Very sympathetic. Honestly. It's, it's so sympathetic. It's so horrible. You see, if in Abuja this kind of thing will happen, mm. unabated, mm. what do you expect in the state? Exactly. I think it is time for the federal government to turn everything aside. And they begin to face security issues. Treat it like a, like a, a, a state of emergency. Mm. Give it a state of emergency. All the security apparatus should be rejected. We should bring all the security chiefs into one place. Let us face this issue once and for all. Exactly. This, these actors are within and outside. This is the collaboration of these outside state actors and within even the government. Mm. So we need, we need, the president need to bring everybody together on board and give it a sort of emergency. Otherwise, we can never defeat these people. God bless Nigeria. God bless Nigeria. Thank you very much for your contribution there. Of course, very vital. Do call in to the show and make your contribution on these issues. But we need to pass on to the next story.